Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a plugin called Spectra Layers. I think that this only comes with Cubase Pro 11. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but I think they've just added this as like an ARA extension thing. I can't live without this now, it's so useful. Right, so I've just recorded this phrase and you'll notice that there's a little bump in the background. Let's have a listen. Hello everyone. Can you hear that little bump around there? Let's uh let's boost the volume a little bit. Hello everyone. And with this new plugin called Spectra Layers, you can just edit that out and it'll keep the main vocal pretty much untouched. So to do this, you just click on the audio that you want to edit and then click on audio and then go to extensions and then Spectra Layers. And this will open up this window. What I like to do is just make it a bit more easier to see by dragging this minimum amplitude down. So basically what this is, is all of the sound that's happening is being put into sort of layers. So the ones going across are just my voice. And then you can, you can visually see this here. And that is that noise that's in the background. This big long thing here. So... Let's listen. Hello everyone. So to edit that out now, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go to the the tool here, this selection tool. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to hold shift and just drag around this. But I don't want to edit these waves. I don't want to edit these these layers, I should say. I want to edit between the layers and just highlight all of the little things. So I'm just going to do as much as I can in between these layers. Trying not to get the layers as much as possible. I'm just highlighting everything. Get rid of that big bass note at the bottom. So basically the lower things at the at the bottom are bass notes. The higher ones are higher frequencies. It shows you the pitches here. The frequencies. Um, so once you have as much of it highlighted as possible. You can then just keep pressing delete. And that will pretty much get rid of it. Let's listen it now. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And there it is. That's how you get rid of the background noise using spectra layers. I've used this to get rid of all sorts of stuff since Cubase Pro 11 came out. I've used it to get rid of breath noises. I've used it to get rid of like guitar fret noises. And I've stuff like this, like just taking out bumps and bangs from uh, vocals and stuff. It's really useful tool to get like the best audio production possible. So if you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Why not? And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time.